welcome to using the spray tool to spray surmark the metal marking solution. The spray tool comes in a container like this. You get the bottle that will mix the solution, the propellant spray, and you get extra tips. And the reason I'm pointing this out is because the tip you want will be the red one inside this little pocket that comes in here. Um, the white one is already installed on the container itself, but you'll want the red one to use with Surmark. I've already opened up a package, and I have my container here and the spray head here. Now the extra tips, there is a little place that you can scoot on the white one and the blue one. I will put the red one on with the post of it going down into the lid. Then the straw part of the fixture will go on to the red tip and this will eventually go into the bottle. But first we need to mix our solution. When we are mixing the Surmark solution, and I have the smallest container here just so it fits on the camera, but we do have much larger containers, it is two parts denatured alcohol to one part solution. I've already entered in two ounces in this bottle as I cannot pour very well on camera and I would end up making a huge mess. So I have two ounces in this bottle. Denatured alcohol is a product that you can find at any of your home stores, like a Lowe's or um, a Home Depot. And it's just denatured alcohol into my container and then I will take this Surmark solution and I've already shaken it but you want to make sure you shake it really well. You'll open it and add in one part. So if I have two ounces of the alcohol and unfortunately for me to pour this properly I cannot necessarily do it on camera but I'm adding just one ounce so I'll pour until we are up to the three ounce line. Okay, so I've added the Surmark to the container. It comes with a lid that you can also use for storage. So when you're finished spraying, you'll take the nozzle out, put the lid on, and again, store this in here. Additionally, denatured alcohol is great for cleaning. So when you're finished with the spray head, you'll take the nozzle off, put it into a little container that has a lid that contains denatured alcohol, and use that for the cleaning process. So I've shaken this up. I will take my lid off, make sure that the straw part is firmly engaged with your nozzle head. Put this in here and twist it on nice and tight. Get the spray can, take the lid off, and this will snap on. There we go. And it may take a few squirts for the Surmark to go up through the straw part and come out of the nozzle. So let me stand up here. I have placed my items on cardboard to catch any of the overspray as I don't want to get the Surmark on anything else. Cardboard paper towels uh, work really well. So let me get a couple test sprays going off to the side here. Okay, there we go. We want a nice even coating. We don't want it too heavy, we just want it even. I've coated the entirety of all my pieces. This should dry in about 20 minutes. It's really good, going to depend upon the humidity and the temperature of your climate. But 20 minutes is good. If you touch any of the parts, and I'll just touch the cardboard and not my part, and you get Surmark on your finger, then you know it's not dry. So again, let it dry so that when you touch it, nothing comes off, and you'll be ready for your engraving process. I will then, of course, disconnect. I will put the lid on my container. I will take the nozzle off, and I'll put it into my container of denatured alcohol after I have rinsed it off in the sink. And this has been using the Surmark solution mixed for spraying and using our spray tool. Thank you for watching.